Hey friends, this video is a little different from our usual releases. We've been showing you a tour of our home, what we've been busy with last year. Let us know if you like it down in the comments below. The team we have for our home is a Western farmhouse. Why we chose this team is we were quite inspired by our travels, especially to the Australia homes. And also since Singapore is a very congested city with high rise everywhere, and it's very modern. So we wanted to have a feel of coming back home and relaxing after a long day. It's a very different vibe from uh, whatever you see throughout the day. Welcome to our house! When you first walk in, you're greeted by this entryway. And the first thing you would see are these beams on, this, on the ceiling. Beams are necessary for a farmhouse inspired home. It elongates the house and makes it look more spacious and wide. A very cozy mini pantry. We have drinks here. Uh, we store our cups and glasses. More here. <laughs> Tea here, coffee, as well as some more drinks. And right here, we have our snacks. If you look closely, we have some switches here. We purposely put it at a low height so that it wouldn't be seen, wires wouldn't be dangling when we use it. Heck! Over here, we have our bar sitting area. High bar chairs. The feature is this wall lamp that we got from Taobao. We couldn't find any suitable ones in Singapore so we went for this shop that doesn't have any reviews and it was perfect! We have another same wall lamp here that actually balances the entire space out which brings us to our dining area! A huge pendant lamp from Taobao as well! Have you seen this in Singapore before? We only got two dining chairs because we have a settee by the window, storage below. One thing special about our settee is we have the sockets right here that you plug in and a hole carved out from this carpentry here. The cable can come up right here so you can eat hot pot. On this side, we have a hole in the wall. This was actually a room, but we hacked it. So it gives the connection between two spaces, the dining room and the living room. If you look closely, we have this curved element here. It's actually made of cement. It gives a more rugged and edgy feel to the whole farmhouse vibe. Perhaps we'll put a plant here soon. Behind this wall, we have our living room. So this was a bedroom, and this whole thing was a wall that we hacked. I like this space because it gives a feeling of openness and yet with a slight separation between the living and the dining room. It's so chill, it's so intimate with the warm lighting and darker green walls. We wanted to keep things simple in this space, so we opted out of a TV console and we just bought a plank from Shopee and asked our carpenter to install it. We simply installed LED strips below the plank this sets a mood for Netflix and movie time. We got black switches here, especially for this darker wall. And we could conceal the box because this was actually a recess. And we built a false partition to flush this whole wall. Our sofa is from Taobao. And we hit our robo vacuum below the sofa. So you won't see it right out. Just on the other side of the TV area, we have our bomb shelter here. It is actually quite spacious. It's 2 meter in length. That's why we can afford to put two racks side by side in a straight row. And you can even lie down here. So we try and keep our bomb shelter organized. The drinks here. And also we have our travel magnets. Heading out. Moving on, we head into the study. So this is actually one of the bedrooms and here we didn't do anything much to the configuration 
only thing we knock down this wall. This is the back of a wardrobe in the master bedroom, which we will show you later. Here we have table set up and also another workstation over there. We didn't know where to put this mirror, so it's here for the time being. It's for me! On the opposite side, we have the common toilet. So here we have our vanity cabinet, a small sink, mirror for it. And what's special is we have this hexagon shower screen. Usually, people do it in a square, but then we wanted to avoid tracks at the bottom, which will make it hard to clean. Well, this shower screen gives us plenty of room inside. Oh. It's very spacious here. So we overlaid the floor and also this wall right here. For this bathroom, we intentionally chose black fittings. We were looking to give this common bathroom a hotel kind of vibe. So all of our trimmings are black. So we changed this to an acrylic board to have some soft lighting. Our master bedroom. The first thing you'll notice is this full ceiling here, which opens up and invites you into the cozy bedroom. One very special thing about our bedroom is that we have two wardrobes. So we have one right here, which is the usual space where people have their wardrobes. And another one in front of the bed. This was originally a recessed wall, but it wasn't deep enough to fit a wardrobe. So we push the whole wall further back and I get my own wardrobe. The most cozy space in our house, the bed. Our curtains are smartified along with our lights, fan and aircon. So at night, with just a touch of a button, the whole room gets set for bedtime. This is how it looks during bedtime. The beautiful strip above it's actually a fake cold light so we can have mood lighting without having to lower the ceiling. Bedside wall lamps. Our bedroom actually has all gold trimmings. So gold trimmings here and we bought this bedside table with actually a black knot but we swapped it to complement the whole space. Very simple hack. We are about to enter the master bathroom. Ta da! We have big tiles on the floor and a wall, on the wall and on the floor. Big tile saves us the trouble of cleaning the grooves. So, very happy with this. And our LED, LED mirror. Oh, it's so pretty! The vanity area with an egg shaped sink. We purposely got one that is like quite narrow. So it fits into this small space. Some detail here. The theme for this toilet is gunmetal. So we have gunmetal sink, gunmetal tap, towel hold, shelf, toilet roll holder, and the shower fitting. We really wanted a bathtub in our house and we made it happen. So we have a full-size bathtub, you can lie comfortably here with a curved shower glass that softens the whole space. Very beautiful! This toilet is where we do our big business. So we have our poo stool! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to our kitchen. One thing you will first notice is that we have top cabinets on one side but not the other and we don't want it to be too overbearing. So here we have these shelves to put some decorations, some useful stuff and we got a nice chimney hood. It's really the chimney style for our farmhouse. For our backsplash, we're using this textured tiles. It's actually wavy 
is in a big piece so that we have less grouts to clean as well. Here we have the drawer for our utensils, knives inner, inner one hidden inside for our knives. Also we try and have as many drawers as possible so it's easy to access. You don't need to open up and bend down. At the end of the kitchen is our laundry area, so our washing machine and our storage heater. Our kitchen is a galley style layout, so we have the sink, the stove, and the fridge in the triangle formation. So this is that famous TikTok sink. Here we have the cup washer, the cap, and also this function. And we have such attachments. I'm not selling the sink, by the way, just showing you. <laughs> we have these attachments to wash your veggies, fruits and veggies. You can plug it into soap and open it up when you're done. There's a water tap here, which we use to fill our kettle or pots so we don't have to keep holding it while we're filling it up. Above it, we have a single tiered rack just for cups. Because we have here our panel ready dishwasher. Saves us so much hassle. And lastly, the switches for our dishwasher lights we have it hidden in the cabinet. We've come to the end of our home tour. We hope you like it. And if you want to have a look at some of the details that we think about, the top process that goes into planning our home, leave a comment down in the comment section below. If there's enough demand, we might do a next follow-up video on it. See you in our next adventure. What do you do in the shower? I read books. <laughs>